My name is Tanel Sinier, and behind me you can see the Awatec Autonomous Vehicle and Skeleton Technologies Charging Station. The vehicle has been modified and fitted with the supercapacitor technology and fitted with fast charging capability. The charging station has also supercapacitor-based energy storage inside. This allows us to very fast in 30 seconds charge the vehicle, which afterwards allows us to drive about seven kilometers. Supercapacitor fast charging is a good alternative for traditional battery systems. In traditional battery systems, you would charge overnight and do your route during the day. So you need to have quite a big battery in order to cover the distance that you have to. With the fast charging and the supercapacitor technology, you can have charging stations distributed around the city and charge in every station or every second one, depending on the distance of your route. You don't have to do this overnight charging and have huge charging capability in the depot. Rather, you can distribute this over the city. And if using the supercapacitor technology on both the charging side and in the vehicle, then you can actually have a rather low impact to the grid. On the charging station side, you have an energy storage puffer, which will be uh, charged up in between the stops of the buses. So what it means is that grid connection can be of low amperage, low power. We don't put additional drain on the grid itself. And when the vehicle comes in, we will charge from the charging station puffer into the vehicle. For supercapacitors, the sweet spot will be short duration drives. This would be the last mile delivery. This will be the city buses, trams or inner city trains. With the new super battery technology, the vehicles will have much more energy, but at the same time, we will still have the capability to charge fast. The super battery also has a high power capability. Climate change is a problem that we need to deal as fast as possible. It's becoming urgent and electrification helps to minimize the CO2 emissions and therefore minimize the impact of the climate change. 